Scorpio to your Astrodice reading for August. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe, guys. Uh, we do have a huge auspicious month this month. We have two beautiful portals coming out, big giant um, ones that you really want to set your intentions for, get those healings done, get those goals out there. Uh, we are starting with that Lionsgate, which we are in right now. Um, it won't be completely open in a portal until 8-8, as always. Um, and then, it, of course, will be closing down on the 12th. Um, it did open around July 28th or so. Okay, so watch for that video. And then, of course, we have the Blue Moon on the 19th, which is also a huge portal um, to really push out those manifestations. You guys need a guided meditation for manifestation or hypnosis or just needing that beautiful music, that high energy music for meditation reasons and manifestation, go ahead and check out my second channel underneath this video in the description area. Um, it will be talking about that. And then, of course, your favorite is coming, which is Mercury retrograde. I know, the sarcasm. Um, it actually will start spinning and doing its thing on August 4th. Um, then it will be completely in effect on the 14th through the 28th, okay, going straight through that Leo season straight into Virgo season, okay, where then we can tell it goodbye. Um, it shouldn't be too worrisome, okay, I mean, it's going to do what it always does, but because it has the loyalties of Leo and it's going to be very grounded with that Virgo energy, it shouldn't be too much of a pain in the ass this year. Um, it wasn't too bad last year, I remember it was a little calm, so I expect it to be around the same, okay. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what is going on with you. Okay. Best messages coming out. For those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month using only one of the 12 houses. Okay, so let's see. Best house to talk about for now. Going straight to that fourth house. That's that home with the sun in Gemini. So going straight over here to the sun. Ooh, I love it. This is talking about that soul's mission. Your immortal spirit pur purpose and destiny is involved. I'm going to stand, I'm going to sit over here in the limelight. And doing it Gemini style over here, we have the energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, and informative. Stimulating exchange is possible. And getting straight into that fourth house, the place of yourself, your home, and the roots of your being. Okay, so it could be literally the home. It could even, you know, it could mess with the family, your dog, yourself. It's the roots of yourself. So let's get in here and see what's going on within the situation. The situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, middle of the month, and the end of the month. messages please talking about the roots look at that hey messing around when it's coming to the fourth house is saying we're getting right down to the roots of the situation over here this is where your vitality is this is where your instincts are this is where you know everything is that's based within yourself and this is also saying i have this is the card of i have and it's saying what do you have it says i have the two of cups Ooh, i have the coming the coming together or the communication, or that communication coming through for that Gemini. So it's saying, I definitely have the vitality of this coming together through this communication. So there's going to be a lot of communication in the very beginning of the month. You might already start feeling it. You might even want to be very communicative, uh, right? Maybe you feel like you need to get out there, talk, uh, socialize, feeling like, you know what? I need to socialize. I need this. I want this. And that's also limelighting you, though, too, because you have the sun over there. So it's saying there is a lot of limelight, right? But it's also, you know, bringing in that purposes involved. So, you know, it could also be for, yeah, look at that, bossing up with the king of wands. Yeah, it's, it's definitely taking on those leadership skills, feeling like you're coming out of any kind of overcoming challenge. If you felt like you were having a challenge with someone, 
Okay, love it. If you feel like you were having some kind of challenge with someone, could be definitely a Sagittarius, does not have to be. You could feel like now you are getting into the situation where you are making peace within the situation. I need to have this conversation with you so we can make peace of this situation, whether there was a huge argument that was going on, um, whatever is going on over here, it's like, and there's some kind of litigation, right? For some of you, it literally could be litigation, <laughs> right? So um, there is a lot of regrets and disappointments, so you might feel like you have a little bit of regrets about this fight going on. Maybe it carried on too long, or they definitely are feeling a little bit disappointed that this has gone on. I feel like it's something that's been going kind of back and forth, back and forth for a little bit, and now actually going to come have that coming together to where you're going to be able to, um, like I said, either litigate the situation, um, come to terms with one another, figure out what's going on. It just feels like it might have been something that got out of hand or they are really wanting to come back and fix this with you. Okay, so check that how it resonates. Okay. <clears throat> so definitely feeling like something in the home. So it's definitely a more than likely a family member, a loved one, okay? Maybe it's even coming to terms with your damn house. Maybe you're having regrets. That I bought this house, but I'm going to make it my own. Maybe it, you know, maybe it's killing you. Okay, let's see what's going on in the mid-month. Having things under control. Seeing things from a different... Yeah, change of focus. I've seen it, too. It's going to be a change your focus, and you have the seeing it from a different perspective, and there she is, changing the focus. So definitely seeing and changing the focus, but also seeing how the control is being managed. So you're going to feel like you have better manage and control um, when it comes to the situation. So that's also good, though, too, because that's going to keep your eye out. You're going to be very observant about what's going on around you when it comes to everybody, when it comes to your family, your romantic, your household, you know, anything, right, in your house. Okay, so I definitely want to feel like that. that's that, right? I mean, hello, right? There it is. This is where it all comes down. This is where it's coming down to. I have to watch all, maybe you're even watching your P's and Q's or you're watching, you know, the roof. Maybe it's, uh, you know, your roof has uh, got a leak or something, right? And I have to watch that until I can get somebody over here to do that. Um, however it is, maybe you're arguing with somebody about your roof, however it is. But trying to get to the litigation of the situation, trying to get to the avoiding any kind of conflicts, trying to avoid any more misinformation, trying to avoid all the different diversities. Because it does feel like, the, you know, that everything's kind of coming together over there, you know, somehow or another, right? The more you're talking. So it's like the clarity of the belief that, you know, as long as I'm in control of the situation, it looks like, and as long as I'm looking at it from this point of view, everything's going to go better, right? Everything's going to be a lot better. Tasks are going to get done. Things are going to get done. You know, the love's going to abound, right? can get rid of the ghosts in the house. I don't know who has ghosts in their house, but I do feel that, that you do have ghosts in your house. So for those, that person who knows your house is haunted, your house is haunted, hun. Okay, so I do hear that too. Um, just, you know, sage, you know, the Foreman brothers out there, however, right? You take care of those ghosts. Um, with the uh, completion and um, accomplishment it's saying that this is the world. I, I do feel that. That's the craziest thing. When I was shuffling, I was feeling that. I don't know. That doesn't happen very often, but when it does, I'm going to throw it out there. That's just who I am. I'm not going to, you know, it's meant for someone. And I'm telling you, you have a ghost in your house. And in fact, I think you have more than one. It feels like you have one that wants to say it's a child and an older man. So, but I would, uh, you can have that taken care of, you know. Go to YouTube, you see the paranormal investigators type of thing if you're in the United States. I feel like you're kind of close here. I'm in California, so I do feel like you might be in that uh, Midwestern area like Ohio. That's where they're from. That's crazy. 
Ohio, Michigan. Anyways, we'll be here all day um, going over that. Which is very interesting, though, because I don't get that very often. You guys watch these channels, those of you who've been here. But you do know I'm going to throw that out there. I don't hold back because there's no reason to. It's why we're here to help each other. So, anyways. Um, on the other marker over here, that's really crazy. That really is getting my attention. Okay, on this marker over here, you just really have to watch for the misdirected activity when it comes to that. And that's really what you're controlling your your mind with. Okay? Because you're going to have that clarity, the belief of what's going on within the fourth house. It's going to give you the clarity that you're looking for when it comes to this person. Yeah, because you don't want any, it's almost like it can make you very impatient and frustrated. My gosh, that's crazy. Ever since that popped in, guys, that's really taking over this scenario. I don't know, but I'm going to get through it because I'm, I'm strong like that. But that is crazy. I almost get to the point where it's like, I just want to tell you, do not allow them to stress you out because I do see that they're taking your energy away and making scattered energy from you. Whoever has that ghost in the house, and I'm telling you, there's more than one. Crazy. Might even be a demon in the house. That could be this child, the small child. Small child that keeps popping up could be a demon saying that they're a child. Okay, so let's keep moving forward. Um, we do have the blossom, the opportunity beckons, and the master. Uh, the master over here is just saying that they're holding you back and restricting the, the um, restricting themselves with their own limiting beliefs. Oh my gosh. We're going to talk about that in a minute. I can't let that go. You live with somebody, too, who doesn't believe that you have a ghost in the house. Like, they, they restrict themselves. They're not open-minded to understand that. So you do feel like you're kind of alone in the situation. Okay, so, and then we have the personal goals over here with the self-doubt. Self but you also are having this awakening to this situation, whoever it is with this person or this, you know, or the person who's trying to... to um, Rent the house, sell the house, fix the house, whatever is going on with this house, because somebody is dealing with a house situation as well. Um, and then others of you, it's this family member, this love member, but they're holding back from the situation. They cannot let this go because it just feels like every time that they're doing something when it comes to you, they're taking a risk or you feel like you're taking a risk. So now where you are so wanting to talk everything out and feeling like, you know, we're disappointed, we need to talk this out about this situation. Now it almost feels like you're taking a risk even talking about the situation. You could take that on that ghost thing too, I'm telling you right now, because you probably do feel risky about talking about that. Nobody really likes talking about that shit. It makes you feel like you're nuts. I want you to tell you, I want to let you know right now, you're not nuts. Okay, and uh, and I'm sure that there's about at least 20 people in watching this video will tell you you're not nuts either. Okay, so we have the uh, financial securities over here but they're only looking at what the contribution of the home and entertainment can be right because they're restricting themselves of how much money they're going to put out to fix this house and maybe you're like no that's not what i wanted right um or it's only how much contributions you can get from the family members without feeling like you're getting this cold directness coming back towards you with through communications oh my gosh so it's almost like in the very beginning of the month guys you're like okay if you're dealing with this person it's like okay we feel bad for you know and i do feel like there is regret for us always being you know towards each other but then towards the end of the month it's like they turn back around and it's like okay but you know what it looks like we can only be on the same page for so long until you want to make boundaries or you want to be cold towards me. So it's almost like even though you have changed your perception, excuse me, of what's going on towards the situation, it's like now you're kind of really waking up to how this person in this family member or whoever this is in the household, more than likely a family member, could be a Gemini, could be anybody, but however they're treating you, you realize it's, it can only go so far. Like, it's not, they're not going to come back to you the way they used to. It's like, they have their own way of doing things. It's like, they've literally evolved. They've literally changed in some way for some of you to where it's like, well, I don't understand why you're doing that. It never used to be that way. Literally, if it's like your, your sister and yourself, you know, you got those sister or brother, those sibling rivalries, right? You know, they'll come back. They're like, 
yo, you know, and like everything's cool. But now all of a sudden it's weird because now they don't want to do that. Now it's like, you know, you don't always, you know, dance to the same tune. You're not always on the same page, but now something has changed to where it's like, they're very cool to you all of a sudden. But remember, we're also in Mercury retrograde at this point um, of the month right there. So, okay. That's, that's crazy. So we had like three or four different instances going on in this reading. <laughs> I tried to throw as many horoscope things out as possible. Um, yeah, that's, and yeah, this ghost thing is really crazy because I am seeing that, you know, you may have bought a haunted house, walked into a house where they had done some dark magic. You might want to even look for pentagrams on the ground. Uh, you know, it could be stuff like that, or if not, you know, check the background history of the house, something of this nature. It's really crazy. I keep getting that. And that's so crazy. I haven't gotten a reading with, with ghosts in a while. Um, so, okay. Until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.